Hey guys, welcome to day 20. We've got shoulders and core. And you know by now that we're gonna do both shoulders and core at the same time. So get ready for four minutes of both exercise groups. Oh my goodness. So we've got some planks and what I want you to do is make sure that you have one lightweight and then one really lightweight because these moves are gonna be tough. All right, forward and back, open up the chest. And if you need to stretch your arms out more, like if this is your first workout of the day, then go right ahead. Okay, the first move, we're gonna get down on the ground. You're gonna be in a high plank position. Take your feet wide, pull your abs in. Now, I'm gonna start with my fives and probably go down my twos pretty soon. So, I'm gonna stay on one arm the whole time, bring it up, and then bring it back down. Keep that core tight. Now, a couple options here. You can drop to your knees. Another option, you keep your arms straight out, lift so it comes up right next to your ear. Elbows under. So there's so many different options. So do what works for you. Keep your core tight. Go at your own pace. And try not to tilt your hips. Keep looking about one foot in front of you. Pulling your abs in. Now if this hurts your wrist, again, you can go down your elbow or make a fist. And that's what I like doing. Pulling your abs in. Shoulders are dropped. Belly button pulled in. Woo! Oh, I think I can do it. Okay. Couple more, you guys. Couple more. Shoulder raise. And take a break. Woo! Okay. We're gonna go right into a cobra. So you're gonna come down, elbows real close tight, and you're just gonna bring up that chest. So we're stretching out the abs, or your elbows can go underneath your shoulders and pick it up. Or you can come up all the way on the backs of your feet on your feet and then come up into a cobra. Otherwise, stay here. <sighs> Enjoy that rest before we go into the other side. You ready? Yeah, me neither. That's okay. Pull those abs in. Come on up. Get that heavy weight ready. Remember, we're switching sides. It should be the arm that does not hurt as much as the other arm. Not yet, anyway. Here we go. Straight up, straight down. Remember those modifications I showed you. You can make a fist. You can always come down onto your knees. Bring the arm up, right when the bicep touches the ear, that's when you bring it back down, okay? Nice and slow and controlled. We're not going for speed. This is more of a controlled movement. Pulling your abs in. Woo! You got this. Looking about one foot in front of you. It's too much, drop to those knees. Again, remember, you can always do this from your elbow too. Go straight up and then back down. Pull those abs in tight. We're almost there. I'm gonna do two more. Woo! Ah. Told you this with shoulders and core. Last one. Oh. Rest. Oh my goodness. All right, move it out of the way. Back to your cobra. Again, a couple options. Level one, level two, or hands directly underneath the shoulders. Core is tight. Pick it up. And shoulders are away from the ears. It's really opening up that chest. Now, what's next? Make sure you have your lightweight handy. You might need it for this next one. We're gonna go into a side plank with a light arm weight hold. All right, let's go to the side, side plank. I like to either stack my feet or one on top of the other, or you can bend that bottom leg 90 degrees. Make sure your butt is pulled under, your abs are tight. Lift up that arm, holding it here. Straight out from the shoulder. Make sure that butt is not sticking out. Tailbone tucks under, core is tight. I even squeeze, squeeze my glutes and my hamstrings and my head is neutral here, so I'm not dropping. Keep your head lifted, stay strong. I'm gonna switch to that lighter weight. I knew I'd need it. Woo! Make sure that you're really fighting against gravity. You're pushing those hips up. You're working the oblique right there. If you don't feel it, then lift a little higher. You're gonna feel it. Pushing away from that shoulder so you don't hurt the shoulder. Pull those abs in. Making a straight fist from the elbow to the shoulder. And bring it down. Rest. All right, go ahead and take a seat. Let's go ahead and stretch. I think both arms need stretched, actually. Because we had one arm holding it. Well, the other arm did that work over there. So feel free to stretch. One arm, stretch. Focus on the arm that still hurts. Do what works for you guys, okay? We're almost done! Woo! 
So get it ready for the other side. We're gonna go to that side plank. Remember, feet stacked or top foot in front, elbow underneath the shoulder, pull those hips in and under, core is tight. Bring that weight out. Make sure you're not reaching. I want your shoulders dropped. So your shoulders should be stacked on top of one another. Your booty is slightly forward so it's not out of alignment. So you're really gonna work that core. Oh my goodness, if it's too much. Drop to that bottom knee. Stay with me. I know you can do this. We can do the hard things. This is how we get results. We focus on what our futures will look like when we don't quit. That's our why. That's why we're not quitting. Pull those abs in. Drop to a lighter weight if you need it. Shoulders dropped away from the ears. Woo, I'm breathing hard too, you guys. 10 seconds. Fight for it. Come on. Abs pulled in, see how going under. Three, two, one. Oh, Crashed. put down the weight. Sit up straight. <sighs> Go ahead and stretch both those arms out and when you need it, you feel a stretch right across the shoulder. Nice work today. Oh my goodness. Now if this is your full workout, I recommend doing three to four sets. Switch arms. Otherwise, if this was just your added bonus workout to what you're already doing, awesome job. You guys are crushing this. We've got just a couple days left. And session complete. Session complete. So I'll see you for tomorrow's workout. Don't miss it. It's going to be a good one. See you later, guys. Bye. Raise up, Raise the roof, raise the roof, uh, 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 you know you did it with me. Good job, guys.